Hey Zips fans, Chad Welker here with a Zips Digital Network update with baseball defeating Grand Valley State this afternoon 5-3 over at Skeels Field. Connor Reagan and Coach Sabo had some comments after the contest. Yeah, it felt like two games, honestly. Uh, I think, you know, our bats were fine early in the game. You know, the only struggle was, was we just couldn't get that big hit going. I think we, you know, some of their arms were solid. Uh, I just thought we were kind of chasing early in the game, and then we kind of you know, came to our own, came to Coach Me's approach, bought in, you know, found fastballs early in the kind to hit, and I think that made it easy for us. I mean, it's it's been a good week. I mean, I thought the, you know the early loss was a good thing. I want to see how we battle adversity. So did the coaching staff. Uh, I thought we found a way. You know, that was a good game to kind of see you know how we can you know come out kind of flat and figure out a way later in the games. You know, the, all the MAC games are going to be tight ball games. You know, we have to find a way. You know, to scratch runs in the seventh, eighth, ninth, or it's going to be tough for us to win. But I expect us you know to have those at bats for nine innings. You know, I thought Sonny had good stuff. You know, it wasn't his best stuff. You know, I've seen him on and just mow people down. Um, you know, going back on, you know, coming after a win, um, you know, honestly, you know, it was, I thought it was important, you know, to come, come back and, you know, show up two days in a row. Uh, it's easy, you know, to kind of, you know, get too high or get too low, you know, after a win or loss. And we're going to have to be consistent for 56 games if we want to, you know, get to a regional, get to a super regional, get to Omaha. Yeah, I mean, Grand Valley State was a very good team, uh, probably a little bit better team than we played yesterday. I mean, they, they threw some pretty good arms at us. and. Uh, that's the key. How do you play back-to-back -back days? Because, like I said yesterday, uh, we you know we're going to play four games in three days once we begin the MAC next weekend. So it's important that hey, whether you win or lose, you still got to come back, come to the uh, ball yard the next day and get ready to go. And they, they did great today. Uh, we we preach, uh, you know, you got to play the full nine innings. Let's keep you know relentless, as you like to say. Uh, you got to be relentless every at bat. You've got 27 outs. Let's make them all count. Put the ball in play. Make them make plays. And you saw towards the end there, we started hitting the ball in play, and you know, and they, they started making some mistakes defensively. That that really helped us out. So uh, I'm proud of the guys. Uh, it was a beautiful day. Uh, the fans that, that were here, uh, they were, uh, they got a good treat. That was a nice that was a nice ball game. Well played by both teams. Oh, Connor, he's you now he's our number one guy. So I mean, you know, every, every time he pitches, I'm always I, you know, I'd be amazed if he didn't do well. He throws a lot of strikes, uh, which I like. And uh, hey, if you throw strikes, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. He did good. Gave a, a few bouncing hits up here and there, but uh, he's good. He'll be starting our game uh, next uh, Friday against Eastern Michigan, and uh, uh, he's a, he's got the type of ability if, if he pitches up to his uh, standards. Uh, he's got a chance to be a, an All Mac type of player. We preach it, you know. We we don't have a bunch of bombers, so I mean, we, we you know, only way we're going to be able to score runs is battling, put the ball in play, two strike approach. Uh, don't strike out. You strike out, you got you got no chance of uh, getting on base. Obviously, so we're preaching: hit the ball. You know, you get two strikes, shorten up, put the ball in play, and you be. You know, we got a couple of good uh, two strike hits there. You know, you'd be amazed if you just try to hit the ball and try to get the barrel to the ball. You know how the ball jumps off your bat. So uh, I'm proud of the guys. Uh, they did well. They battled for all 27. Thanks, Coach. The baseball team will be back in action Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. as they take on Mercyhurst over at Skeels Field. If you can't make it out to the game, you can catch the game on the Zips Digital Network by visiting GoZips.com. Click the tab Zips Digital Network and you'll be able to find the contest there. Have a great rest of your weekend and as always, Go Zips!